Welcome back everyone. You may be experiencing some issues when it comes down to your iPhone actually being stuck on the Apple logo. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons. You may have accidentally jailbroken your device or not accidentally, but you may have messed up during the jailbreak process. You may have updated your device. Now there's a couple different ways to go about doing it. Now the first way I'm going to mention is probably the best way in the case if you want to actually go ahead and preserve as much data as possible. And the reason for this is pretty much because, you know, you, when you restart your device, when you go ahead and reset it, you don't want to go ahead and delete everything off it. So the very first thing that I would recommend pretty much everyone to do is to actually go ahead and let your phone just be stuck on the Apple logo for about five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes at times. And sometimes, you know, in my experience, a lot of people don't talk about this, but it just takes a long time for your iPhone to actually boot up, especially if you went and just updated your device. For some reason, I don't know why, after rebooting and after reinstalling a bunch of software on my devices, especially when I went and jailbroke my devices and just, you know, on jailbroke them or whatever, it would take so long for them to reboot back into their software. I don't know why, especially with things like the iPhone 8s, the iPhone 6s, those type of phones, the older ones, they just take so long to boot back into the software. So if that's the case, just let them, you know, kind of sit out for even an hour at times, just leave it plugged in. And eventually, maybe if you're lucky, it'll actually go ahead and boot back into the software. Now it's I would say it's about, you know, very rare, but almost every single time that I let my phone just kind of like be stuck on the Apple logo and boot back up, it would almost fix it all the time. My data is still there. Everything's still there. So if you're one of those people who want to maintain their data and everything inside their device, your best bet is to actually probably just let your phone sit out and just wait till it boots back up or even use this specific method. Click the up volume button, click the volume down button, and then hold down the side button and then basically just restart the phone that way. Don't hold down the buttons. Just click the up button, click the volume down button, and then hold that side key and wait until your phone restarts. And this may actually end up rebooting yourself back into the software as well. Now, again, these two methods that I just listed are if you want to preserve the data. Now, if you don't care about the data or anything like that, then the next method is pretty much what I'd recommend you. So this way is pretty much how you can go ahead and fix that Apple blue, you know, Apple logo being stuck in the boot loop. But this is going to delete everything off your phone. It's going to make it like a brand new device. If you have a backup, then good. If you don't have a backup, then obviously this is not going to preserve any data, but it's going to get your phone probably functional unless there's a huge logic board issue with your device. So what you want to do is you want to have your computer near you and you want to make sure it either has a files app or iTunes installed on your machine. So what you want to do at this point is you want to go ahead and plug in your iPhone that's, you know, being currently being boot looped and you want to plug it into the bottom of your device and you want to follow the specific key structure. So clicking down the keys that I have on the screen right now. Now, what the reason I'm not saying it is because it's different for each device. So if you have an iPhone 11, that's different than an iPhone 6s plus. So basically you just want to follow the keys that I have on the screen. You have to hold down certain buttons. You have to hold down certain buttons at certain times while you're plugging in your iPhone to the specific computer. So as long as you have iTunes or the files app installed, then you should be good. So what you want to do at this point is pretty much wait until your iPhone is recognized by your computer. And once you go ahead and see a little pop up, it'll basically say, you know, iTunes has discovered or the files app has discovered your iPhone and, you know, reset mode or repair mode, whatever it is. And you just basically have to follow those instructions and your iPhone will essentially be able to go ahead and have a fresh OS installed installed on it. So it'll go ahead and install the latest iOS version that's supported on that device, which is great. And you're just going to have to wait out for the software to download that software and then update your iPhone with that software installed. And then that's pretty much it. You just have to go ahead and just reboot your iPhone. And then you'll see that you can now reset your iPhone basically how it was before. Now, as I stated, you know, it's not necessarily perfect. It doesn't preserve any of your data. It just pretty much keeps it there. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.